Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN News Video Web, and we are here with the absolutely gorgeous Cassandra Church, who is out in the open. Well, actually, I'm a straight ally. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that I support gay rights, but I'm straight myself, which oh. it's funny that we have to make that distinction, but we yeah. kind of do. I think it's because people think that only gay people care about gay rights, but that's just not true, that's is not, it? That's not true. No. It, see, part of it is we're talking about Out in the Open, yes. which is a new documentary on coming out and being gay. Is it just in Hollywood or just coming out in general? Oh, it's, it's getting a very wide release. Actually, we're premiering it in New York next <gasps> month. Wow. It's actually getting a theatrical release in limited cities. I hear it's also going international. It'll be available on DVD, Blu-ray, and uh, on demand, and Hulu, as far as I know so far. It's going through uh, Breaking Glass Breaking distribution. Glass. Yeah. And part of it is, instead of just being an ally, you're also in the film, aren't you? I am in the film, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because it follows um, my, my boss and my friend uh, Matt Smith. Okay. and his boyfriend, Solly, as part of the film, including also interviews with people like Carson Kressley and Greg Luganis and other prominent people in the media who are out and open, mm. if you will. Um, but uh, a, lo a, lot of, um, a lot of the film does take place in office and with a lot of our, uh, our friends and coworkers who, who are in Matt's life and can comment on what it's like to um, have a friend who's mm -hmm. gay and, and, and how that affects you know, let's say you're straight, like how, right. how it affects your, your perception of gay rights and everything. And the thing that I actually think that's really special about this documentary, and we didn't really set out to do this, but this is sort of how it ended up, was that it gives you, if you, let's say you live in the middle of the Midwest, you don't even have a gay friend, you have no right. idea, you're not necessarily a bigot, mm -hmm. but you just don't have any frame of reference, right. it sort of gives you the experience of having a gay friend. Oh, actually, that's an interesting perspective. Yeah. Because, like, one of the things that you bring to light, because you were talking about an ally, is a lot of times you think that only gay people hang out with gay people. Right. But I have a lot of gay friends. Absolutely. Right, just like you do. Yeah. Because, you know... Well, and we're in, LA, we're in LA, and I and I think that you know when you're in LA or New York or San Francisco, this this issue seems a lot smaller. Yeah, it you know, seem because be it doesn't seem like a big deal, right. but you know, there's a whole middle chunk of the country oh. that that. They, they maybe don't even know a gay person, or they think they don't. But, ah. um, you know, it's just about exposure at this point, and we think that, you know, right now it's a really hot topic politically. It's an issue that's kind of coming to its head. Right. But instead of approaching it from the traditional uh, activist, you know, like this is our fight for gay mm -hmm. rights standpoint and kind of berating, you know, the viewer and, and, right. and laying a guilt trip on them, right. instead we kind of we, we showed it as not a big deal. And we informed through showing how normal the gay community right. really is, and that and that it's not just all like you know rainbow flag wearing, you know right. whips and chains and like hello. No, they're not. It's <laughs> not it, you know it's 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 it needs to just be let go already as yeah. an issue. And I think that that's the the difference I think between maybe our documentary and other documentaries on the subject. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Now, what was the most interesting thing that you found that you discovered during the making of the documentary? Um, I think when we were in research, mm -hmm. uh, I, we, we ended up finding some old anti-gay PSAs mm -hmm. from like the 40s right. that were really eye-opening to me. Um, in, our, in, our, in the process of research, we found, we found out that there are a number of states where you can still legally get fired for being gay if your still. employer finds out that you're gay. In yes, the, in still. The current day. Still. Wow. Now, you know, wow. and I mean, meanwhile, there are states where it's legal to have sex with cattle, but you can't, you know, get married if you're gay. It's, it's just, it's it is, yeah. absurd. Right. And and part of what we did in this documentary is we, we made light of things like that. You know, we, we sat, we used satire yeah. in the film. We, we made our own uh, mock anti-gay uh. PSA, you know, a, a poking fun, ha ha, you know, so, um, we we illustrated you know how ridiculous it was by actually like using humor i guess oh, but i think that the enlightening thing was in research finding out just how big of an issue it still is again you know being in la right. and, or in new york or in san francisco it seems like it's less of an issue because right. everyone here is really okay with it yeah. but when you start looking in, into it you find out just how much still is left to be done okay yeah that's very cool so part of it it's coming out 
premiering in in Jan- New York in, New York in, in, in January. January. Yep, and it's going to be uh, re- yeah. I think we're we're premiering. I think the first week, and then it, it releases into theaters the week later. Oh, that is so, awesome. Yeah. So if people want to find out if it's playing in their area or want to find out more about the documentary, where's the best place to go? Well, our, our source for everything is always realstreamproductions.com. Okay. Um, we will be launching out in the open.com shortly. Um, and, of course, Breaking Glass Pictures has all the information you ever need. Okay. And, of course, Cassandra is not just a pretty face, does not just work for Real Stream Productions. <laughs> She's also an actress. So if people will want to keep up with you, where's the best place to go? Oh my goodness! Well, everything's coming up real stream right now. Okay. So, but you're on IMDb. So I am on IMDb, IMDb, and I am on Facebook. So you know, you can always Google me. But right now, our next project that we're working on, has anyone told you about it? <gasps> yeah. Has anyone mentioned no. it in any no. interviews? There's a lot of people here we've been working with for the last two weeks. Yes. We're working on a film called Somebody Marry Me. Oh. And did anyone mention this I, already? No, they haven't. Well, I, I felt, you know, as a follow-up to the okay. other one. I mean, well, now you can ask together. people about it. Okay, because okay. Somebody Marry Me is special. Oh, what? Because it's a feature film in one take with one camera. Oh, you know, okay. I didn't know the name. Now, that's really interesting. Yes. How long? Okay, so they did it one take, one camera. We're going to do it oh. with one take and one camera in about a week, and we're in rehearsals Ooh. right now. And we're also making a documentary about the process called One Shot. See, that entire part is extremely interesting because we do live video all the time. And so you yeah. do things because you know it's only one take that yep. you would not normal. And it one it chance to get a right. little bit of anxiety. It's pressure. It's pressure. Lots yes. of pressure. Lots and lots of pressure. And it's never oh. really been done before. It's certainly never been done in the United States. And everyone's always kind of cheated. They've hidden a cut no, or no, they've no, passed no, off no. camera or there have been it. multiple cameras. Um, this is literally one camera. Are you going to long take? Is there going to be a live stream while you're doing it? Or no, no, that's a great idea, but I, I think it may be too it, much. It creates, <laughs> it creates an extra layer of anxiety. Yeah, I okay. think it, I think it would create an extra layer, layer of anxiety. Right now, oh, um, that's really interesting. The biggest hurdle for us is sound, I think. Oh, yeah, um, and especially the, if you're changing locations. We are. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, we are. We are. There's three locations, so it's it's. Uh, if, it, if, if we pull it off, I mean, it's history. Okay, you know? we're going to be watching you. you got to be, gonna, gonna be all watching very, yeah. very closely. Well, I do believe you should talk to Tim then, because I believe we're inviting press to set. Ooh, that could Ooh, be very good. Yeah, so okay. you get a quick behind-the-scenes so peek. We're going to have to really follow them. Okay, yes. the website again, Cassandra? Realstreamproductions.com. Ooh, you're up to some very interesting things. Always. Real. Stream. Real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you, always oh great. Oh, my gosh. Nice to see you again. (laughs) I know. Thank you. Okay.